IEEE 802.11 ACK is a wireless networking standard in the 802.11 family, developed in the IEEE Standards Association process, providing high-throughput wireless local area networks on the 5 GHZ band. The standard was developed from 2011 through 2013 and approved in January 2014. According to a study, Devices with the 802.11 AC specification are expected to be common by 2015 with an estimated 1 billion spread around the world. This specification has expected multi-station WLAN throughput of at least 1 gigabit per second and a single link throughput of at least 500 megabits per second. This is accomplished by extending the air interface concepts embraced by 802.11 N, wider RF bandwidth more MIMO spatial streams, downlink multi-user MIMO, and high-density modulation. New technologies, new technologies introduced with 802.11 AC include the following, extended channel binding, mandatory 80 MHz channel bandwidth for stations, 160 MHz available optionally. More MIMO spatial streams, support for up to 8 spatial streams. Downlink multi-user MIMO, multiple STAs, each with one or more antennas, transmit or receive independent data streams simultaneously, a Euro OE space division multiple accessor Euro streams not separated by frequency, but instead resolved spatially, analogous to 11N style MIMO. Downlink mu MIMO included as an optional mode. Modulation, 256 QAM, rate 3 quarters and 5 slash 6, Added as optional modes, controversy has been raised in 3GPP RAN plenary that this modulation rate is not suitable for any architecture other than extremely small cells and would be completely useless to 3GPP. Other elements features, beam forming with standardized sounding and feedback for compatibility between vendors, MAC modifications, coexistence mechanisms for 2080 160th MHz channels, 11AC and 11AN devices. 802.11 AC is an example of a wireless network employing the single channel architecture, whereas previous generations of 802.11 were primarily using multiple channel architecture. Mandatory and optional features Mandatory features 800 nanoseconds regular guard interval, binary convolutional coding, single spatial stream. New mandatory features 80 MHz channel bandwidths. Optional features 2 to 4 spatial streams, low density parity check code, space time block coding, transmit beam forming, 400 nanoseconds short guard interval. Optional features 5 to 8 spatial streams, 160 MHz channel bandwidths, 80 plus 80 MHz channel bonding, MCS 8 9. New scenarios and configurations. The single link and multi-station enhancement supported by 802.11 AC enable several new WLAN usage scenarios, such as simultaneous streaming of HD video to multiple clients throughout the home, rapid synchronization and backup of large data files, wireless display, large campus auditorium deployments, and manufacturing floor automation. With the inclusion of USB 3.0 interface, 802.11 AC access points and routers can use locally attached storage to provide various services that fully utilize their WLAN capacities, such as video streaming, FTP servers, and personal cloud services. With storage locally attached through USB 2.0, filling the bandwidth made available by 802.11 AC was not easily doable. Example configurations all rates assume 256 QAM, rate 5 slash 6, data rates and speed, note, a second stream doubles the theoretical data rate, a March 3rd X, etc. Note, MCS9 is not applicable to all channel width spatial stream combinations, products, commercial routers, Quintena released the first 802.11 AC chipset for retail Wi-Fi routers and consumer electronics on November 15, 2011. Reed Pine Signals released the first low-power 802.11 AC technology for smartphone application processors on December 14, 2011. On January 5, 2012, 
Broadsome announced its first 802.11 ACK Wi-Fi chips and partners and on April 27, 2012, Netgear announced the first Broadsome enabled router. On May 14, 2012, Buffalo Technology released the World A Euro unregistered trademark S first 802.11 ACK products to market, releasing a wireless router and client bridge adapter. Apple Incorporated is selling 802.11 ACK versions of its Airport Extreme and Airport Time Capsule products. Motorola Solutions is selling 802.11 ACK access points including the April 8232. In April 2014, Hewlett-Packard started selling the HP 560 access point in the controller-based WLAN Enterprise market segment. Commercial Laptops, on June 7, 2012. It was reported that ASUS had unveiled its ROG G75VX gaming notebook, which will be the first consumer-oriented notebook to be fully compliant with 802.11 ACK. Hewlett-Packard as of December 2013 incorporates 802.11 ACK compliance in laptop computers. Apple announced in June 2013 that the new MacBook Air features 802.11 ACK wireless networking capabilities later announcing in October 2013 that the MacBook Pro and Mac Pro also featured 802.11 ACK. Commercial handsets, HTC announced the first 802.11 ACK enabled handset, the HTC One, on February 19, 2013. The phone uses the Broadsome BCM4335 chipset. The Samsung Galaxy S4, announced on March 14, 2013 also uses the BCM4335. The Samsung Galaxy Note 3, announced in September 2013, is an 802.11 ACK enabled handset. The Samsung Galaxy Round, announced on October 9, 2013, is an 802.11 ACK enabled handset. The LG Nexus 5, announced in October 2013, is an 802.11 ACK enabled handset. The phone uses the Broadsome BCM4339 chipset. Nokia Lumia Icon, introduced in February 2014, is an 802.11 ACK enabled handset. Chipsets, see also, IEEE 802.11 ADD, references. External links, a brief technology introduction on the 802.11 ACK amendment to the 802.11-2007 standard. A list of 802.11 ACK devices, the not-so-definitive guide to be informing, understanding IEEE 802.11 ACK Wi-Fi standard and preparing the enterprise WLAN, MIMO 802.11 ACK test architectures, 802.11 ACK, the fifth generation of Wi-Fi technical paper.